Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nino Kuni. I am ready for another action packed day of exploration and thieving and, well, stopping a thief and all sorts of things. So, last time we climbed a volcano, it was really hot. I battled a fearsome monster. I leveled up one of my monsters, actually, uh, off stream. This guy, or girl. Yeah, look at him now. I love him. Anyway, uh, we're here. Someone stole something from someone, and I'm on a rush, a running to get it, to get it back. Taking my, not taking my sweet. All right, fine. I'll get moving. So let's check out this village. Let's actually check it out today. Yeah, the peddler's pot. What do you think about this peddler's pot? Young lady. You're from outside of here, I think. Uh, please tell me how long sleeve shirt. So yeah, I read your thing. I guess no one here wears long sleeve shirts. What is this? This isn't World of Final Fantasy Maxima. What are you doing? You came from Ding Dong Dell, perhaps? I hear that it is a fine city, if a little dull. <clears throat> it's called Ding Dong Dell, not Ding Dong Doll. Ah, what perfect weather. I can only hope that the, uh, the ancients bless us further with a still sea and a bounteous, bounteous catch. Yeah. I trust the sea is in fine spirits today, father. Alright, let me get my chat room online now. Of course, the first thing P. Mikaru does when he enters the chat room is... Checking if the stream's gonna crash today or not. 35% chance. Let's hope the stream's luck. Let's hope luck is in my favor today. How are you doing today, P. Mikaru? Yes, yes, this is it. This is the future. Gee, ma'am, you sure do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have successfully visualized the swimsuits more elegant than anything that has come before it. For the designer, my no joy is comparable. I need only acquire the materials, and my vision shall be realized. Ah, perhaps you can help. Uh, us? Really? Yes, yes. Would you do something for me, please? In the name of the ancients and all that is elegant. Your Joy-Con is in transit. Don't know when it's going to arrive, but it's in transit. Good. Now you can get to catching up. Because I'm going to make an announcement now, Pia Mikaru. I am canceling Fire Emblem Three Houses and starting Dragon Quest tomorrow. How exciting is that? No, you don't like that? Fine. No, never mind then. Oh, thank you. It is a, it is rainbow leaves that I require. These are usually carried by florets. Three should suffice, I think. Um, what's a floret? Keep up, Bolly Boy. They're creatures that roam the shimmering sands, ain't they? You must have seen a couple. The things with the rainbow leaves, though. Ah, uh, this fairy knows his fashion, I think. There is indeed an additional complication. The rainbow leaves that Florts carry must be cooled down before you pick them up. They will otherwise wilt before your very eyes. Uh, going dark for a bit, gonna finish up work, gotcha. I understand. This makes life difficult, I realize, but the designer's lot has never been easy. But how are we meant to cool them down if the Florets are holding them? Hmm. Oh, what's that icy spell you've got again? Frostbite, is it? Try knocking the florets out with that. Should keep the leaves nice and cool, I reckon. That sounds like a plan, Mr. Drippy. Let's give it a try. Florets, huh? What do you think, Mr. Mr. Urn? Or Pot, or whatever the heck you are. So have I seen a floret already? That's the question here. You think it would be here? Floret. Oh, it's one of these guys. The Shimmering Sands. Is that where I am now? The Shimmering Sands? Here. Let's look on the map. Korok! Happy to confirm that you have a thousand percent confidence in making the emote you wanted. You figured I made an amazing strategy that works great. I can't wait to see it. I was worried that, uh, that, uh, that I'd never see it. My emote. And how are you doing today, Korok? Besides the old, the Summerlands. I'm just looking at things, don't mind me. 
don't mind me. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Hey, Wallenbeer! Open Sesame! Welcome to the stream, how are you? I will open Sesame up to everyone in chat right now. You are good, thanks for asking, how am I? I'm doing good, thanks. I'm having a lovely day. We just got started, so I'm ready for a whole, whole stream of this. Ah, uh, there is no place like one's hometown. Indeed. The fact that we live and work together is a source of great comfort to me, dear brother. I do no not know what I would do without your friendship and guidance. So, Wallenbeer, have you ever played Nino Kuni before? Are you a huge Nino Kuni fan? This is my first time playing it, and I'm loving it so far. Right, Mr. Oh, you're it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long sleeves are amazing. Only in winter, though, are they amazing. Anyway, did I talk to you yet? Uh, phew! It is accursedly hot today. I think perhaps I should swim out to the edge of the cove. It may be somewhat cooler down there. Wait a minute. But... Huh? 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 Ah! It's a conspiracy, guys. Three twin little girls. It's a conspiracy of this town. Uh, you have the PS3 version and you're a massive Studio Ghibli fan. Oh, me too. I love the Studio Ghibli movies. You have both games on the PC. Nice. Yeah, I've never played this before. This is my first time. There's a clone of you nearby, by the way, little girl. Right there, see? And there's another one right up there. Mother's latest glow shrimp haul has broken the all the Mooney record. Well, that's good. Yesterday, Father caught the largest dumb flounder he had ever seen, but it got away. What a loser. Oh my gosh, why would you say that? <clears throat> What's your favorite uh, Studio Ghibli movie, Wallenbeer? Welcome to Castaway Co, travelers who are fond of our town, perhaps. It is, I think, a very nice way of life we have here. You should stay for a while. Yeah, sure. I like, uh, water. I like walking around the beach and all that, and whatever this is. Hey there. Hmm, what should I prepare for her tonight, I wonder? Are you cooking dinner, miss? Indeed I am. There is an old lady who lives alone near here, you see. I assist her with domestic tasks and so on. So you're her maid, huh? Valley of the Wind, ah. The first one, the one before Studio Ghibli became Studio Ghibli, I believe, yeah? That's a good movie. It was the very first Studio Ghibli movie you ever watched. Shockingly, mine was my neighbor Totoro. And not only was it the first Ghibli movie I saw, it was the first anime I've ever seen. So yeah, I think that's a good start to anime, huh? Are you allowed to keep trying until you like it, or is it a one-shot thing? You can keep trying as long as you want, Korok. As long as life still breathes in your lungs. In your in your body. Oh, oh, nothing like that. It's it is merely something that I chose to do. That old lady, she cared for me when I was a child. I am merely repaying the very many favors she performed for me. There ain't a lot of people who do that kind of thing without asking for a single gilder in return, you know. This one gets more kindness in her little fingers than most folks have in their whole body. Um, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if you'd be able to help us with something. Hmm? You require my assistance? That's right. We were hoping you'd be able to share a little bit of your kindness with us. There's somebody who needs it, you see. Hmm, if it will help someone who is in need, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you very much, miss. <gasps> Time to take your heart. Just like Howl. I think my favorite Studio Ghibli movie is... Between three movies, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, and Castle in the Sky. Aside from that, though, I can't choose my 
my second favorite. They're all too good. The thought that I might help someone gives me the, the greatest satisfaction. Cool. Well, good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed. Oh, it's this lady. Hi. Alright, let's keep on exploring. Hey, there's a chest there. With the blessings of the ancients, I shall return with a basket full of glow, glow shrimp. Good luck. Is it glow shrimp? It is glow shrimp season, you know? All oh, this time, at this time, they're at their most plump and plentiful. Awesome. I love shrimp. Do you guys like shrimp? Because I like shrimp. Father, why? What is a long sleeve shirt? Oh, let me tell you. It seems to be still by some kind of magic. Yeah, we know what time it is. You like shrimp? Mmm, it's delicious. I had shrimp today, actually. Shrimp and noodles. <gasps> fish burger! I never had a fish burger before. Two bunches of babanas and a nice crispy lettuce. That should make for a hearty meal. Fresh fruit, vibrant vegetables, the finest in all the summer lands. Oh, it's uh, one of you that needs it. What wonderful weather. A sign from the ancients that I am due a bountiful haul, perhaps. So you're a fisherman, huh? I most certainly am, and I am just about to head out to sea. Eh, you a bit worried about all the monsters that have popped up around here, then? Monsters? Ha! No fisherman worthy of the name would give such trifling concerns in a, a moment's thought. You're not scared of monsters? Of course not. Why, I have already survived one monster attack. I drove those creatures away then, and if necessary, I shall do the very same thing again. Flippin' heck, man. You can almost smell the courage on this one. You sure can. Excuse me, sir, we'd like to ask you a favor. A favor? But I must set sail soon, lest I miss the fair winds and the bountiful halls they bring. Oh, it'll only take a second. We just want to borrow a little bit, a little of your courage. My courage? Certainly. It is not something I lack. Take as much as you wish. Thank you, Mr. Fisherman, sir. Whoops. I want to give kindness, and he'll be kind and, uh... Kind and courageous. So, Wallenbeer, did you do every single, like, quest in this game? Oh, you're finished already? Uh, that, uh, tingling sensation in my chest? That was my heart, perhaps? Sure was. Father told me that when he lived in a city named Hamelin, he had to wear heavy armor at all times. Now that he has moved to Castaway Cove, he has no need for such things. He keeps them under his... He keeps them under the bed, alongside his periodicals. Did I talk to you yet? Bountiful Hall. Yeah. I like Bountiful Halls. Right? My uncle is the greatest sailor Castaway Cove has ever seen. He taught Captain Simba all that he knows. Simba. Curses. What is this affliction I suffer? Uh, are you okay? So far, you just finished the Hamlin time travel chapter. Ooh, nice. That's pretty cool. I don't know how far away that is compared to where I am, but... We're doing every single mission, or at least I'm gonna try to do every single mission. We'll see. You don't look so good. I, I have always been a man of the sea. Becoming a fisherman it was my only ambition ever since I was a babe in arms. And indeed, I was recently able to finally acquire my very own vessel. Oh wow, that's great! Congratulations! I am grateful for your kind words, but... Eh, I, am, I suddenly find myself to be most terribly afraid of the ocean. The ocean I have always loved. I simply cannot bring myself to go fishing. What has become of me? I do not know. A fisherman who's suddenly scared of the sea? Mr. Drippy, it sounds like he's... Broken hearted, ain't it? Lacking courage he is. No doubt about it. You're going to help him out, Ollie boy? You know it. I sure am. I mean, he just got his own boat. Right you are, then. Let's see if we can find some courage for our fisherman friend. Well, luckily for you, I have some. Give. And there we go. Hmm? Oh, praise be to the ancients. Courage swells within my breast once more. 
Neato, so you're not scared of the sea anymore? Not in the slightest. Indeed, I shall take to the waves forthwith. Ah, but first I must show you my gratitude. Please accept this by way of thanks. Ooh, two fish burgers. Feels good, huh? Feels good indeed. Now let's see what this thief wants. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Damn it! There's no escape! Give back what you stole! What I stole? What are you on about? What did you mean, what am I on about? That great big pot, of course! Pot? Oh, this thing? What's wrong with him, man? He likes it. It's like he doesn't even remember stealing it. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it, it's yours! Huh? Ah! 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 I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! Well, what the? What was that all about? Why would he steal something and then just throw it away like that? Yes, why would he? What was he thinking? I don't reckon he was thinking at all, man. Huh? How do you mean? Well, he ain't bothered with... He ain't bothered what he steals. He's just the steal and he's in for it, ain't it? You mean, he enjoys stealing for his own sake? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Size of it? I'm no expert, mind. If that's really true, he's even more horrible than I thought. Well, never mind for that for the minute. Let's just get this old pop back to the peddler, shall we? He must be worried sick, poor fellow. He must be, huh? Okay, let's take it back to him. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying this game. I'm playing on normal mode, by the way. Normal, because we are normal people here. I'm gonna go on the ship, okay? No one can stop me. No! The plank! The plank! What is that? Oh, there's a little crab fellow! Look at that, that's cute. I like this third person view. We can see everything. That chest over there. It's awesome. Is there a, is that a bridge? Is that a bridge up there? That's pretty cool. Alright, let's actually do this now. Let's let's complete this quest. I did it! Um, excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Oh, ah, indeed. You, uh, you recovered it? Yes, we did. The thief got away, and unfortunately, but we got your bot back for you. Curses. Uh, I mean, is that so? You have my thanks. Crikey, don't go being too grateful, will you? It's not like it's flipping heavy or anything. Forgive me, it's just that... I was rather pleased to have finally rid myself of it. Huh? The man you chased, he is a habitual thief. He does not care what he steals. So, as ever, I called after him. Stop, thief! But when I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. You gave thanks for being robbed. In this instant, yes, you see this pot. No matter how I try, it will not open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It is of no use to me. Yes, you must take it. For apprehending the thief, it is the least I can do. You're giving it to us? Just like that? Hold on a second. You just told us it's flipping useless, and now you're pr pretending you're doing us a favor? Giving it to us? What's going on, man? Ah, uh, um, perhaps you will think of it as a souvenir for your visit to Castaway Cove. Jewel of the Seven Seas. Ahem. So there's seven seas in this game, too. Interesting. A souvenir? A great big pot like this? Yes, the most wonderful souvenir. It is no ordinary pot, after all. It is, if the rumors are to be believed, it was once used by an ancient royal family. It has an illu Ill illustrious and reg regal history. But if that's true, we can't accept it. It's too valuable. But, but you must. I'm so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. Go now. Take it. Go. Be gone. Uh, okay. You said it. You said yes. Why did? What did you do that for, Mun? What do you mean, Mr. Drippy? Did I do something wrong? I mean, he looks like he looked as if he was going to cry if I didn't take it. He seemed really worried. Real worried. Indeed, I was worried. Worried that you would, er, think me ungrateful. Yes, that is, what, that is what I was worried about. Thank you so very much. Something funny is going on here. Type open sesame to open it. Ooh. Thank you for that. 
We'll see if the game tells me to say that, and if not, then what the heck, game? <laughs> uh, come on, tell us. There's something wrong with this pot, isn't there? What? Well, well, wrong? Why, of course not. It is simply that the lid will not open, and perhaps, now and again, spine-chilling clatterings emanate from within. But only every once in a while. It is nothing. It will. It's in the wizard's compendium. I gotcha. Ha 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 ha. So the lid won't open, but the strange sounds come from inside it. What could that mean? Ah, so that's it, is it? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Huh? You know why it won't open, Mr. Trippy? Nah, man. It'll open. You just need to know how, ain't it? It's a cauldron, see. Really? This is a cauldron? Wow! You know what this is? Yes, I've never seen one. I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see. They do? They do. That they do, Ollie boy, and the reason it won't open is because it's sealed up tight with powerful magic. But all it needs more is a true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard's companion. And Alakazam, the little pop open just like that. It will, huh? Oliver, you should try to open it. I should? Right now? <laughs> Welcome back, Pia Mikaru. Uh, that's nice. Welcome. Welcome to Ultima Stream. Plea, er, thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, why not, Mun? There's no time for the present. Go on, give it a go. Uh, okay, so the magic words are in the wizard's companion, huh? Let me take a look. Just for fun. Uh, you do remember how to read your wizard's companion, do you, Ollie boy? Sh I sure I do, Mr. Trippy. I just open up the main menu and, uh, start reading. Exactly. A budding wizard like you should be reading a bit of the book every day, should be told. Anyway, get and find the magic words, will you? We haven't got all day. Um, but, but the wizard's compendium is kind of long. I mean, it might take a while for me to find the right words. You don't have to read the whole thing, do you? Use your noggin. The magic words for your alchemical cauldron shall be in the chapter on alchemy, ain't it? This makes sense, I guess. I'll start looking then, huh? So I know the code, but I want to see if I can find the code. Does that make sense at all? Probably not. This is the alchemy, right? doesn't actually say like uh, it just says it just shows recipes go back go back to top uh, yeah where would I find it here uh, I have a plan all pages now watch this guys you ready watch this boom open sesame yep there it is you're right you were absolutely right, Wallenbeer. That's a good username, by the way. That sounds like a... Like a, a Nino Kuni name. Find the magic words, did you, Ollie boy? Well then, let's get this over with before you forget the flipping things. As soon as you're ready, stand in front of the cauldron and say them loud and clear, alright? Oh... And... Space says a me. Oops. This is gonna take a while. Ah, darn it. I keep I keep pressing B button. Uh delete is Y. Okay. Does uh does caps matter? Open Okay, good. Uh, says, says, says me, guys. Says, and I need that one. Uh, I need this. I think. Right? Yeah. Says. Uh. This doesn't work. I'm I'm suing. I don't know who I'm suing, but I'm suing. Confirm. Woo! Huh. Hmm. Um. 
Genie. Mm. <gasps> what? You are very small, master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Where? Where is it? Ah! Aha! Now, to arms! My word. Oh! Uh, okay, we're battling. Well, Alibaba, he has been 40 thieves. We're battling a genie, guys. Oh boy. A tough genie. Go! Miss. Don't miss. Missing's not nice. I was not expecting to fight the genie. I wasn't expecting a, a genie in, in, in general, actually. Go, genie! Or go, mighty, defeat the genie! Uh, I need to switch. Spells... Pulse! Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. I think I, I missed out here. I think I made a mistake here. <gasps> no! Not the dress! Uh-oh. That's not good. But guess what is good? Time to cool that sword down. Oh, never mind. Uh, go back to Oliver. Alright, I'm slowly learning this. I'm learning, learning the ways of battling. How do you like the battling in this game, by the way, uh, Rebel Allenbeer? I like the combat in this game, to be perfectly honest. Uh-oh. No! Go, go! It's like JoJo, but go, go! Oh, stop it. Uh, go back. Go summon Moth. Alakaz, um... Miss, miss, miss. Yeah, I'm missing a lot. Hey, another dress. <laughs> what is this? Chance? <laughs> Flippin' heck, is he really going to try and poke you with that parasol? Now's your chance to give him what for, Ollie boy. All right. In that case... Oops, uh, no. Gust Buster. Go, Moth Creature! Go! That actually is pretty good. But, uh, I'm going to run off now and heal myself. Double heal. Okay, go! Go, mighty attack! Slay! Uh oh, run! Oh, you got me. Kinda. <laughs> this is funny. This is a goofy battle. This is a very comedic battle. Uh oh. That's a sword. Aracel is away. Uh oh. Um. Trouble. Okay. I uh I defended wrong. Boom. Oh boy. Uh, go back to you, please. Woo! Miss me. Oh no, Hubble Bubble again? Here, I have a plan, guys. It's not really a good plan, but... Oh, I think I'm too late. <laughs> Darn it. The combat's okay, there's no familiar system. Uh, oh no, Oliver's dead! Oh, what happened? Why did Oliver die? That's not good. I might die here, guys. 
I might actually die here. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, many layers of not good. Yeah. Uh, sandwich. Why now? Okay, well. Okay, this guy's actually kind of hard. Continue. Wow, that's a lot of gold I'm, I'm sacrificing here. Yeah, combat is not easy in this game. Oh, here we go. I can actually buy things now. Let me buy... A couple phoenix feathers. Anything else? I need more of this. Strong coffee? Ooh, a better feather would be nice. A better everything would be nice, really. Oh my gosh! You gotta go to sleep. Thanks for the follow. Thank you for coming, coming by and checking my channel out. I hope to see you tomorrow. I appreciate all, all that you have done. Will this be a bad idea, buying shield and stuff? Probably. Increases attack when HP is full. That was rather embarrassing, huh? A thousand thank yous for your patronage and whatever. Uh, what color does the background be? In the emote? Uh, none. No, uh, no background. Oh, do I have to type this again? Oh, that sucks. Oh, boy. Open. Space. Says. guys. He's already going for the, the big sword. Immediately going for the big sword this time. Okay. Feels like I'm doing more damage to him this time. So this is good. Healthy glow. Let's do some spells. Like, oh no no no, not frostbite. That, that's a bad move. It's actually a bad move. Al, what is that? Never mind. It's good. We're good. We're fine. Fifty. the dragons out. Little dragon guy doing some damage. Good to see him. Wow. How, how was that possible? How'd you reach me from all the way over there? How'd you do that, huh? There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Attack! Attack! Okay, now get your little parasol. Dress? Good. Now attack. Holy boy, flip the neck. He's really going to try and poke you with the parasol or whatever. Bye, holy boy. Alright, now we can get him properly. 
Oh, no, no, no. I, I wanted those, though. I wanted those. You gotta share. You brute. Alright. Let's, uh, let's not miss... Not... How do you show me? You run it in the Discord? Uh, Discord. As SP and Mikaru said. Put it in the Discord. The Disc Show, some people might call it. This will be the scary sword. So yeah, do what Pia said. Just put it, put the emote in the Discord. Don't attack, are we? You're just a kid. Can't attack a big genie. Pulse is good. Pulse is a very powerful move. Uh oh, hubble bubble. Watch this. You put it in general? Thank you. Excuse me? You're doing hubble bubble immediately again, mister. You are kidding me. I think Esther is dead, actually. Yep, Esther is very, very dead. Oh, dress! Parasol! That's not a parasol, it's your scary big sword. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, this is hard. This is really hard. <gasps> nice, nice, nice! Oh, uh, da, 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 da. no, 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 no! Yes, I got it. Okay, good. Now I got it. Oh, burning heart! Isn't that bad? Because, um, want me to put it in chat? Uh, put it in chat, please. I'm kind of curious what it looks like right now. I can be the, the judge. <gasps> Chance of. Uh, you know what? You can vanish it off, my little flower, flowy guy. Bubble bear! Got him! That's that's a nice emote. Let me give you a, like a proper. When the stream is over, I'll give you a proper uh, critique. Right now we have we have cause to celebrate. We beat the genie, and now we're all happy. You don't know Aelin's personality, but it screams badass. <laughs> she is. Ha ha! Why would he just attack us like that? Phew! Are you all right, Oliver? Oh, your name is Oliver. Your name is Oliver, Master. I I'm sorry. Oh, more illust most illustrious Master Oliver. Your prowess in battle is unsurmised, unsurpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful. Truly, you are a master worthy of alchemy. Alchemy. Wow. That's funny. His name is Alchemy. I just, I just realized that. Genie of the pot. Genie? Uh, that's right, Ollie boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside it, see? They do what is known as alchemy for you. If they have to test you first to see if you're worthy, ain't it? That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal, like if you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's traditional, see? Gee, you could have warned me, Mr. Drippy. Hmm, when I first laid eyes on you, Master, you're... or no. When I first laid eyes on you, Master, your diminutive size worried me most prodigiously. 
But you have humbled me. You have reminded me that a book may never be judged by its cover, no matter how unimpressive it may be. I bow to you, Master, now and forevermore. Pleased to meet you, too. Yay! Master, I must pay you tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. Pixie Dew? Sour Grapes? Slumber Not Leaves? You must combine these items with the power of alchemy. They will produce a most wondrous and magical result. Now, Master, it seems you are in need of an instruction concerning the use of the cauldron. There are two ways to alchemize. When you possess the alchemical, alchemical formula of the item you desire, sim simply select Follow the Formula, and you shall have it in an instant. But should you not possess the formula, you may select Mix and Match to combine ingredients to your heart's content. I pray you will produce most wondrous and magical results, Master. For your first steps on the path of the alchemist, I recommend that you follow a formula. Do not run before you can walk, Master. And for this, your first alchemical experiment, I present you with a formula. Behold! Guess what came in the mail today? Full Metal Alchemist? Something or other? So let me check uh, this emote again. It's pretty good. The 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 uh, the glasses they're missing the uh, the long bit, but that's a that's a small like detail. And maybe if she was like smiling a little bit more, maybe. Uh, Edward cosplay. Oh, nice. <gasps> Sprite do. I love Sprite do. <coughs> cool. Done. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. Your cauldron is capable of many such miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, medicines, and treasures of every kind. You'll also touch up things here and there. Yeah. For the first run, it's pretty cool. I like it. You did good, Korok. You did better than I could ever even dream to do. You must take your wizard's companion in hand and try all that the... Ah, oh, that the alchemical arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie. Sir, thank you very much. I'll look forward to most, I'll look forward most humbly to serving you, Master. Ha 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 ha. There's useful, ain't it, Dolly Boy? Uh, now we just need to bag ourselves a boat and all will be tidy. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Woo! Esther is, is looking a little dead. So let's, uh, let's help her with that. By helper, I mean let's go and heal ourselves. Bloop, bloop. Do, 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 do. Save your progress? Yes. Absolutely. That was a tough genie. I trust you had another perfect night's sleep. I sure did, lady. Your expectations were lower than the seventh circle of hell, but you surprised me, says Piyamakaru. Indeed. You are not a sailor, I think. Your skin is as pale as a dumpty egg. You want to fight, kid? I will throw you in this water. And you'll probably will be fine, because you can swim. What do you think? Oh, you have a quest for me. Ah, that big pot you have! It is a cauldron, is it not? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Hee <laughs> hee, so you must be a wizard! Crikey, it sounds like this little girl knows a thing or two about wizarding, Molly Boy. I do! I read my wizard book every day! I know all about wizards and the spells they cast! But the spells, they are not my favorite thing about wizards! It is alchemy that I love the most! I read that- I read that wizards can make almost anything by mixing materials in a cauldron! Is that true? It sure is! It's actually pretty easy if you have the right ingredients. Easy for one such as you, I think. Ah, uh, being a wizard must be wonderful. Would you, would you show me how alchemy works? You can make me a candle cutter, perhaps? I have heard that candle cutters can only be made by alchemical methods. I would dearly love to see one for myself. 
So how good does your uh, Edward El Elric cosplay look, by the way? Does it look amazing, Korok? How wonderful! I do not think I have ever been this excited! I felt sorry for this kid, then. Okay, uh, now to make a candle cutter, you will need a flint dagger and also an ember stone! Flip it up. You don't know half- you don't half know your stuff! You don't half know your stuff. Hee <laughs> hee, it's all in my book. All right, I shall wait for you here. Please hurry, I am very excited. You'll wait right there? Oh, but you're walking away, though. You lied! I'll take my guilders first. All right. Cauldron is a go, guys. Spirit do. Do I have a flint dagger? Flint dagger. Iron shield. I thought I, thought I had this uh, equipped already. Giant's tooth. Stuff. There's the ember stone. And, oh no, that's the shadow glass. Darn it. And I probably can't do anything here. Alright. Flint dagger hunt is a go, everyone. Maybe it's here. What do you think? Oh no, it's, it's not here. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where things are swift and things are swift. Southeastern Summerlands. Go show me an example of some of the best you've done and keep trying till it's better than the best. I wish you luck, my friend. You got this. Got this, brah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have uh, the thing I need? The flint, flinty, flint, flint, flint. That's the name, right? Flinty, flint, flint, flint. No. Alright. A thousand thank yous. Uh. Yeah, I thought this guy had his thing equipped. Alright, he does. Never mind. Mother's Day is closer, pals. Pretty cool. Thanks for telling me. <clears throat> I guess, uh, I guess I can't really do anything else right now. Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it the seaside paradise of the south. Look, they are not dressed correctly. Er, uh, tut, so very disrespectful. What, huh? Knickers, it's like a ding-dong dell all over a flippin' gadden. Jeepers. Come now, what is this disturbance? Ah, Governor. This ver the very person we need. What do we have here, hmm? You are visitors to our town, I take it? You must know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Uh... But we ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through, like... Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We once had great trouble here. <laughs> nice, Pia Mikaru. Very nice. I'm sorry to hear that. You'd never think you'd never think uh, to look at a place now. You'd never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all over our world sail to Castaway Cove. Travelers who do not always see eye to eye. The men of the sea are hearty, but quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I am sure you have guessed already what it was. Um... Yes, to require all those in the town to wear bathing suits, of course. Uh... What is he, flipping crackers or something? What difference would, would that make? A great difference indeed, fairy. For in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ho ho ho. And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they from Alma Moon, from Ding Dong Dell, or from the furthest flung islands of the north. When they don't, when they don the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Wow, that's interesting. But it's such a strange idea. How did you conven convince everyone to agree? Uh, ho ho ho. 
At first, of course, I met with ridicule from all sides. None would support my scheme. But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustration. And why was I able to show such restraint? Because I had a dream. A dream of peace in the place of my birth. Gee, I thought they were dressed like that because it was so hot. Hee <laughs> hee, me too. Ho ho ho, you are not the first to think so. But this is only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everybody else. Let's do it. I want to become a citizen of Castaway Cove. All right then, if we flip and must, but I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? Ho ho ho, worry not, little one. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors such as yourselves. Come, you will follow me to my home. <clears throat> Check me out, dolly boy! I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvelous! <laughs> Whoa. What do you think? Hmm? She is super cute, guys. I would totally, you know? Wait, how old is she again? Never mind, I would not. I changed my mind. Sorry I'm late. We may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of the more involved nature of feminine dress, eh, Ollie boy? Uh, I guess. Anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove now. Let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Sir Governor, sir. Ho ho ho. The bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now at last I can say to you, welcome to Castaway Cove. Thank you. Now at last we can go and look for a flippin' boat. Talk about a fat mun. <clears throat> yeah, look at me now, guys. Now I can impress all the ladies with my little boy pecs. Actually, that's kind of a weird thing for me to say, too. Never mind. Speaking of that, that's what I said during kindergarten class when we visited the pool. Miss Herpenshire was not happy with me that day. Anyway, uh, where are we going now? I don't think I can do anything here anymore. Hey, there's a pot. I'm silly? Well, thanks. You're silly. Now, nah, keep going, but can you say it louder into the mic while stating your full name and address? Eh, eh. I would be a Mikaru, but uh, I think Plot is here now. I think we found some Plot. <coughs> Ollie, there you are. You crossed the desert too, I see. But what exactly are you wearing? You look ridiculous. Well, we didn't really have a choice. Everybody has to wear a swimsuit here in Castaway Cove. Ah, swimming. I used to love being in the water. But it is not quite the same when you're a ghost. You don't even get wet. Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> don't worry about me, Ollie. There's plenty of good things about being a ghost. Hey, it is me, or do you look like someone who's taken, in, taken the trials? Huh, taken them. He didn't just take them, Shorty. He passed them with flippin' colors. Look at his bathing suit, by the way. This is the best one yet. He did, did he? Well, bully for him. Come and show off to me when they're calling him the Sage of Ages. As polite as ever, I see. Big-headed little so-and-so. Anyway, I s it looks like you're well on your way to becoming a sage now, Ollie. I suppose your Nazcan is coming along nicely, too? My, uh, Nascar? Nazcan, he said. It's a language people used to speak ages ago. Upper ancient is it is. There's bits of it in your wizard's companion, if you look. Well, well, so you do know something about something after all, Pipsqueak. Yes, the very first wizard's companion was written in Nazcan script. And there are still bits and pieces of it in modern editions like yours, too. That's why every copy contains a guide to the Nazcan alphabet. Wow, that's pretty neat. I'm glad you think so, Ollie, because I prepared a special puzzle for you! Puzzles! Woo! One that'll test your Nazcan comprehension. Now open your wizard's companion and turn to the page headed 
headed the tools of wizardry. If you look closely, you'll see some ancient Nazcan script there. Your task is to try and decipher it. Let me know when you've worked it out. Well, guys. Uh, what did he say? What page was this on? Uh, stop it. Stop it. This? I hope it's not this. Look at all these. Look at all these here. Well, if I have to do anything involving an alphabet, uh, then let me do this real quick. Do you guys mind if I do a thing? Um, uh, uh, boom. Look at the page headed, headed the tools of wizardry. No, 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 no. The tools of wizard, oh, oh, of, of, of wizardry. The tools of wizardry. Where is that? The twelve tales of wonder. No. Wizard's pledge. Let's see if we can find it here. Tools of wizardry, page thirteen. Go. Tools of wizardry. But these are all. This is English, though. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What's he doing? Here? No. What page am I looking on exactly, Mr. Ghost Guy? Did you look at the page headed? The Tools of Wizardry. The Nazcon that's actually part of the original picture. Okay. Let's look again, then. We are doing this, guys. I don't care what anyone says. Page 13, yeah? This? Is it this? So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna need you guys in, in chat to help me out here. Let's look at... Actually, no. Better yet. I have a plan. Boom. So now... Let's see if we can find these symbols. God, I hate puzzles, guys. Puzzles are the worst. There's nothing that looks like those two right there. Those weird symbols there. Unless I'm just missing something. Translation. Oh, no. L. 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 Uh, can someone type that in? The first two are L. L. And what is that? It looks like a box and an O. E. L. L. E. That one has a squiggles and circle. L L E. Oh my God! L L E M. L L L. And then there's that S P there. Man, this is this is crazy. L L E. Tell me if you see that next symbol, the one that looks like a P and. A squiggle. Oh my gosh, P. Let me just find the P thing first. We're gonna do this, guys. Together. Together. Forever. I don't see the P. I can't look down there that good. Is that even anything? What am I missing, guys? What, how come I can't find it? Hey, Bowser one. Okay, that's an SP. It's not A. It's not B, I think. Yeah, it's not B. It's not C. Is it an M? M. Oh, right. It's I smell, or Lamo. I smell. 
Oh, you figured it out instantly. <sighs> Typical. Pia is smart. Yeah, he's he he he's he's done this before. Where did he find one, two, three, four, five, six? S. That doesn't look like that. All right. Let's see if you are right. Yeah, I would have gotten lost for sure. <clears throat> I. Okay, calm down, Ultima. Calm down. It doesn't say if it uh, needs to be capitalized or not. Did I type it in wrong? You think that's possible? Let's type it all in caps. Oh, there was no space there. Okay, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, guys, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I space smell. Oh, wow, I don't like this keyboard thing, to be perfectly honest. I space. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. No, we did not. Um, are you sure it's ice smell? Yeah. What's going on here? Maybe all lowercase? Oh, guys, uh, these, this method of answering, uh, questions, I hate it. Type it backwards, I think the game is messing with you. Yeah, probably, in that case. L, L, E, M, S, I. Eat. Dick. Game. Time to look it up. Time to look it up. Uh, this method I've never liked in games. You have to get it perfectly, guys. It has to be capitalized in the right way, the proper punctuation, everything. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. No, oops. No. Cooney. Horace's riddle. Something tells me I'll be saving this page. I'm removing points for this section. This this section is is horrible. And I hate it. I can't wait. I can't actually wait to see the proper way to, to type this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horace and Ding Dong Dell, we know that. IGN, can you stop loading your stupid ads, please? The answer to Horace's riddle is finest fiber, guys. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I almost closed the game. Finest Fiber. Where's that, huh? Where's that game? I'm guessing that Horace guy wrote that. Do you see any, uh, any other... 
Any other languages here? Anywhere? Nope. No. Nowhere. Screw off. Uh, all right, we'll have to see where that is. It's on his jacket. Stop, 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 game, stop. On his jacket, where... Stop it. Uh, on his jacket, where? Oh, there? How could anyone even see that? This is just a rule in games. A game cannot be perfect. There has to be some form of bullshit in games at all times. Some form of bullshit. The I smell was the game messing with you, and that's hilarious. Yep. Sure is. Uh, now I need to remember how to spell finest. I don't think I like this whole forest guy anymore. Finest fiber. Well done. Yes, wizards should always wear robes woven from the finest fibers of fibers. Mine are made from, a, from of material from the sky tree. How about that? Really? Neat out. My clothes are made from the sky tree too. But what? But only sages are allowed to wear sky tree clothes. You're not a sage. <laughs> now, now, midget face. Don't get in a tizzy. The old lady down at Hootie gave them us for us to free, ain't it, Ollie boy? For, for free? You flunky little... And here I am about to give you something else brilliant, but I suppose you did solve my riddles. Here. Vacate. It was a low blow to the stereotype of that gamer smell. <laughs> Maybe. Thanks, Horus. Shh, don't mention it. It's the least I can do for another wannabe sage. Now I think it's time for me to move on again. I think I'll stow away in one of those ships that visit the harbor here. No one's ever going to spot me after all. Goodbye for now, Ollie. Can't wait to solve another one of your stupid riddles. I'm sure it's going to be very fun and very enjoyable. <sighs> anyway, no, we're not getting salty with this game. I, I refuse. I refuse to get salty with this game. Good night, Ultima. Aw, thanks for coming, Korok. It was good to see you today. Hope you have a lovely night, and thank you, uh, thank you again for the, the, the picture. You're surprised at how long you were at it without realizing it was a joke? I did, I had no idea. Again, this is my first time playing this game, so how am I supposed to know if it's a joke or not? Excuse me, sir, are you the captain of this ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all who sail in her. You have a beautiful boat, Captain. You do not need to tell me that. She is the most beautiful on the seven seas. You'll do better tomorrow with the pictures? Thanks. Don't rush, alright? Art is not to be rushed. Remember that. There is not a finer... There is not a finer or more fearsome ship afloat. And her name is no less fine or fearsome, for she is the legendary Sea Cow. I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your ship? If you think about it, there's absolutely no way the solution would be I smell. Well, what's your line of reasoning there? There's absolutely no way. You'll have to explain your reasoning now. Hmm? You seek passage aboard the Sea Cow? We need to get to Artemia. Avas, girl. You believe you can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, I'm... Well, Captain, and may I say what a fine Captain you are. The young man standing before you, and I know it seems unlikely, but bear with me. This is an unassuming scrap of a lad here. Oliver, his name is. 
He is only on a journey to save our flippin' world. And he is only accompanied by none other than myself, Trippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I missed her. You are a fairy? I have traveled the world, but never have I seen one of your kind before. Because it's too dumb to be accurate and it would be too easy? This is a kid's game, though. All the kids would do that. More or less. It's more or less a kid's game. It's supposed to be easy. So, lad, you travel to save the world with a fairy for a companion? Ha ha ha! That would... Then surely my ship alone would not suffice. You would need two ships, a fleet even. Ha ha ha! Um, does that mean we can ride with you? But of course, boy, just as soon as you have shown me the letter of passage from our beloved Kaulipa, the most exalted Lola, we sail after all for her glory and for all and for that of Alma Moon. Should the Kaulipa see fit to grant you permission to come aboard, I will refuse you nothing. All right, Captain, we'll go get that letter right now. Ha ha ha, fine words, lad, but easier said than done, I fear. Still, if you are truly to save our world, then it should be the work of the mere moment. Ha ha ha. I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We'll just, we just have to prove him wrong. If we can bring him that letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alma Moon and get it. Cow liffa low liffa, eh? I wonder what she's like. Looking forward to this, I am. I flippin' love royalty me. Besides, would a kid find that, uh... That stuff on the robe, the really incredibly hard to see writing on the robe? The answer is no. No one would ever find it. Uh, it's over though, so it doesn't matter. Who cares? The, the pain is done. Boy. I don't know what I'm buying. I think I should buy uh, a weapon. So let's see what happens if I leave. Look at this guy. Where are you going? You are not a sailor, I think. Your skin is pale as a... Yeah, an egg. Don't insult me, kid. <clears throat> I'm amazing. So... If this is the Summerland, I, I need to find one of those things. Also good, I'm wearing my normal clothes. I meant to turn around there, but... Oh well. The enemy has the upper hand. Time to die! I was gonna say, why is she attacking? Normally sends out the penguin immediately. So what level is everyone? Penguin leveled up. Cool. Sundra. Bubble bath. Cool. We gotta get a. Uh, gotta get all of our gold back. We lost all the gold. Let me check the map real quick. There's something over there that we can that we need to do. That looks very autumnish, but I'm guessing I just can't do anything right now. Everything's running from me. Feels great. Not that thing, of course, but everything else is running away. Use him now, by the way. I taught one of these guys a confusion like move. Level 22, we'll take it. Alright. Is that the thing I need? Let me just check this guy real quick. No, no. Just Here one of go. them. Hey, Thiago! I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you've been good. Yours was just great. That's good. And, uh, let's pause the game. Let's wait for, uh, 
Let's just wait for a second. Are we frozen? I think it's gonna crash. Uh, oh, wait, it's moving, kind of. Sorry guys for this long wait. Stream broke, not yet. Hasn't broken yet. Hasn't broken yet. That you're your near internet completely. Oh man, I can't believe OBS found a brand new way to suck at life. It's amazing. We're back guys, thanks a lot. 35% chance of failure. Luck is not with me. So where do we need to go exactly? Weren't you listening, cloth ears, to where the Khalifa is, ain't it? The place, man, the plat, the palace, I mean. It's a uh, beats beyond the main square, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Hey, baddy legislator. Uh -huh. Oh, what's going on? Hmm? Yikes! Uh, welcome to the stream, uh... Betty le Legis... Wait, Legisla... Betty Legislacerator. Veggie Slacerator. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, you joined in at the right time. Uh, what's wrong, Esther? Nothing. I just had a funny feeling we were being followed for a second. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry, let's just get... Let's get going, shall we? Sure. By the beards of the mighty, the regal lines, the majestic curve of the nostril, your nose, it is in every respect the same, the same as hers. I'm sorry? Please, you must let me study it. What? Who are you? Ah, forgive me. I am but a humble artist. I am currently painting the portrait of one to whom you bear a most striking resemblance. I look, the, I look like the person in your portrait? Indeed, and alas, I am unable to meet her in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study you a little more? Well, if you must, go ahead. So, uh, Betty, have you ever seen or played? Probably yes to both questions, but have you ever played this game before to completion? This is my first time, and I'm loving this game. It's good. Hmm, yes. Ah, so it is more like this. Uh, the line of the jaw is key? Yes, of course. Thank you. I am in your debt. I know just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You have my eternal gratitude. Um, that's alright. You're very welcome. I must return to my studies right away. Farewell! What the heck was that all about? I wonder who... Wow, I wonder who this person is who looks like me. Whoever it is, that artist certainly seems to think she's rather beautiful. Crikey, these RT types are a bit intense, ain't it? Not to mention a bit flippin' weird. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just that, you know, he was a bit of a funny one. Did you not think so? Just me, was it? Right out. I'll shut my big mouth, shall I? So, time to get moving, is it? Sure, let's go. Oh my gosh, we're gonna see the Cowlipha. I don't know what this Cowlipha's gonna be like, but it's gonna be amazing. Let's say hello to our friend over here first. Hi, curry guy! How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Please take the feet off your feet and feet, feet, feet. Come again soon. Cool. I'm glad I did that quest. Tidy! This here's the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Nod! Oh my gosh, guys! Alt, you may not pass. Oh, well, never mind. You think you can just walk into the palace of our most reserved, revered Khalifa unannounced? What seems to be the problem here? Master Abul? These miscreants were attempting to enter the palace without permission. Is that so? Wait, you are the Babana merchant's daughter, are you not? I am Abul, visor to our esteemed Khalifa. Your father's efforts to supply her magnificence with babanas are, as ever, most highly appreciated. I had heard that you were unwell. It seems that you are recovered. 
Yes, I'm much better. Now, thank you. That is the excellent news. Tell me, child, what business have you at the palace? Well, sir, we need, you see, we need a ship. And we can't get one without a letter of passage from the Caulifa. And uh, you and your friends wish to journey to the lands across the sea. I sympathize, and I would dearly love to arrange an audience for you. However, is something wrong? I am afraid the Caulifa is indisposed. Much as it would please her, she is currently unable to hear the request of any of her subjects. Oh, that's too bad. Apologies, but she has requested that she not be disturbed under any circumstances during her afternoon snack. Then I guess we'll just have to wait until after that. Would that would that you could, but her afternoon snack is immediately followed by her second lunch. And after that, then comes her late afternoon snack. Um, is there any time when she's not eating? Alas, her majesty's miraculous hunger dictates that she dine that she dine even during her sleeping hours. Uh what? That is why I am forced to spend my every waking hour procuring her most beloved food. Ah, uh, but I must be going. Her most beloved food? I wonder what that could be. Forgive me, I must make the necessary arrangements before the merchant supplies are exhausted. I am most terribly sorry that I am not able to grant you an audience. <laughs> Refreshing worked. Sorry about that. Um, if you didn't hear me before, welcome to the stream, Betty. Uh, hope you are doing well. Hope you're doing good and amazing. And, uh, welcome. Welcome to our lovely community. Curses. I must hurry. If I cannot prepare her Majesty's next meal in good time, she will be most displeased. Master Abula spoken. Leave this place. It looks like we don't have much choice, Oliver. Come on, we'll come back later. We're just having a... Crazy time here with this uh, quest, aren't we? So the cow Liffa has a very special favorite food, is it? Hey, I bet if we found out what what it was and took her some of it as a present, we'll be allowed to see her. That's a neat idea, Esther. But we don't know what her favorite food is. Oi, oi, Ali boy! You know how we can find out, don't you? Um, come on, slow coach. Slow coach. We go to your world to find your soulmate, ain't it? Of course, if we find your soulmate, we can find out what their favorite food is and give some to the Caulifa. But how do we find out who the Caulifa soulmate is? I've never seen her before. Hmm, so we need to find out what the Caulifa looks like, but we can't go and meet her. But if we can't meet her, how are we supposed to find out what she looks like? I saw her once in a parade when I was little, but it was so long ago I can't remember anything about her. So what do we do? Cheapers. We don't know what the Caulifa's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas, too. Bah, all this think is, think is making my head hurt, man. Tell you what, let's go down the cat's cradle and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess I am kind of tired. The cat's cradle is near the entrance to town. Okay, let's go, let's go rest a while. So, Betty, did you ever play this game before? Are you uh, a big fan of the Nino Coonies? You must have missed me say this before, with the stream crashing and all that. Stupid OBS. Ruining my lovely guess's time. Anyway, uh... But I... This is my first time playing it. And I am very much enjoying this game. I like it. I'm having a good time. It's fun. The puzzles can be... A little annoying, because I'm just bad at puzzles, that's all. But aside from that, I'm enjoying it. You played it on the PS3, and you bought it recently on Switch. Nice. I hope the second one gets released on the Switch as well. Yoo-hoo! Betty buys! Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of Cat's Cradle establishment. <gasps> oh my! I, I must apologize! Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me! Is uh, it finished? Oh, is it, it is really indeed. The paint finished? is scarcely dry, oh. but it is completed at last. Oh, how I long to see it! Now, please, oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who... Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling! Oh, my beloved Caulifa! 
Hey, there so we the go. The person he thought I looked like was the cow leafa. That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty <gasps> oh of her my. most admired Ujesty. <gasps> Let's see, guys. <laughs> wow. She's beautiful. Oh, it is divine, truly divine. Her matchless beauty takes one's breath away. You are pleased with it? Pleased? Why, it is worth thrice what I promised to pay you for it. You do own a PS4, so you could buy the second one on that, but... Eh, we could wait for the Switch version, right? <laughs> we can get it on the uh, PC as well. But I like, uh... I like playing my Nino Kunis on the big screen. By the beards of the mighty, truly? But we shook upon it, did we not? Perhaps next time. I see. Uh, I see, rather. Excuse me? Y yes I don't look anything like her. Hmm? You said I looked like her. Y you misunderstand, young lady. It is not a picture of you, merely. Mr. Trippy? Eh, what is it, Mun? This just keeps getting... This is just getting interesting. We need to go to Motorville right now. I just realized who we need to see. You did, eh? I sure did. Miss Layla is in ca is the Caliphus soulmate. I just know she is. Of course she is. There's clever of you, Ollie boy. Thanks, Mr. Jippy. When I saw that picture, I knew right away. Right oh, let's get moving then, shall we? I don't feel tired all of a sudden. Me either. Hey, Esther, come on, we have to go. Huh? Hmm, I look absolutely nothing like her. Do I look that fat to you? I am not fat. Harumph. You're still kind of angry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the slightest. Yeah, and I'm six foot flippin' six. Looks like we best leave her to it. I guess we should, huh? It'd be kind of weird if we brought her to the real world, huh? So, Betty, this game is from... Like, this game was, uh, like the art style, I, I don't know how to explain it. But Studio Ghibli had a hand in making this game. My question to you is now, do you like the Studio Ghibli films? And if you do, which one is your favorite one? Plucks the caster from the deaths of even the most dangerous place in an instant. Ooh. That's cool. To the real world! <coughs> wow! Spirited Away is your favorite? Yeah. It's my favorite as well. It's tied with Princess Mononoke and uh, that other get that other movie. Castle in the Sky. But really. I can't say that any one of them is my favorite. They're all my favorite. Uh-huh, the door is closed. You are here. Looks like the shop uh, looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if we wait right here, she'll be along soon. It's time to open up already. Someone someone's coming. Oh, hello, Oliver. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I am, and it's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a moment. I'll just open up for you. Who's this girl? I feel like... Like you know her somehow? Yes, and she looks just like me. It's like she's my long-lost twin or something. She looks much more like me than the stupid old Caulifa. Hmm, can she not see me or something? There's perception for of you. She can't see you, nor me either. Really? So I'm invisible? What a strange feeling. You have a small soft spot for Kiki's delivery service. Yeah, that's a great one as well. Oh man. There's a lot. There's still a couple I haven't seen. But uh, it's very, very little. I haven't seen Pom Poco yet. And all of the, the recent Studio Ghiblis. Besides that though, I've seen them all pretty much. What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't it? Huh? Did you see something? Say something, Oliver. Uh, no. No, I didn't. Anyway, how come you're here at Miss Layla's store, Myrtle? Hee <laughs> hee. I work here now. Miss Layla and my mom are friends, and when she heard that I was better, she said I could come work for her. Gee, that's real nice of her. 
Say, Myrtle, is Miss Layla around? Sure, she's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. What, Miss Layla? Training? That's right, she started running. Is she on a diet? Hee <laughs> hee, no silly, she's exercising so that she can eat even more. Huh? How do you mean? Oh. Ha, ha, Myrtle, I'm back. Why, if it isn't young Oliver. Hello, dearie. Good morning, Miss Layla. Myrtle, I can't wait any longer. Would you? Yes, Miss Layla. I'll go and I'll go get it for you right now. Oh, it's no good. I just can't wait that long. I have I have some in the store, dear. You stay out here and clean up and clean or something. Mm. Ma, I never saw anybody so crazy about their favorite food. What was that? She she did she say his favorite food? Oi, Ollie boy, I bet it's the same as the Khalifa's. You're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Miss um, mm, mm, mm. uh, Layla, mm, mm, mm. what is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. <gasps> That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Quick, Ollie oh. boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some! Sharpish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla. Could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but not Please. that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no. tiny piece. I said no. Piece, piece, man. Mine. Piece with all your might. Have it. I'll never oh, let Oliver. you have it. It's, it's mine. On. Mine, oh. I tell you. Oh, mine. Oh. Just say something like, uh, like, but I lost my mom recently. You can at least have me some, give me some cheese. It's kind of a shock, huh? It sure is. I, it sure is. I had no idea. I had no idea she was so obsessed. Hee <laughs> hee. It's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I know that now. Myrtle? Myrtle? Sounds like she needs my help. Or Myrtle? Myrtle? Uh, I better go inside. Goodbye now. Cheaper. So what do we do now? Miss Layla's store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, what's wrong? Oh, hi, P. It's little girl, who is a mystery. Uh, we need. We kind of need some cheese. Cheese? That's right. It's the Khalifa's favorite food. Who's he talking to? Must be his imaginary friend again. Here we flip and go. Huh? We can make it. Make our own cheese. Yes, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try? You think it's really that easy? Yes. But do I even have a spell that I, I can use to do, you do that? Hey, wait. She's gone. Have fun talking to your imaginary friend, did you, Ollie boy? Better than talking to your real friend, was it? Huh? Imaginary friends? You mean P? P? Who's that? What do you mean? She was right here. Um, I didn't see anyone. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Well, maybe it's just how Myrtle can't see me, but I can't I can see her. You might be right, you know. I've never seen this P either. Anyway, what did P say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah. She told me to use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well she may be too shy to let to see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck out advice wise. You mean it won't work? Nah, man, it'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible, ain't it? But I guess it's difficult for without the right ingredients, huh? But we do have them. We do? Of course we do, back in Alma Moon. The fountains of milk. So we use the magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese. Now that we can do. Tidy. Right now, Wally boy. Let's get back to our world, shall we? Yes, let's go straight to the fountain of milk and try it out. They're in the main square back in Alma Moon. Wow. What a what a game, huh guys? I just want to explore. Like this would be a a world that, uh, that that I would just like to explore, you know. If they expanded on this world more, that'd be awesome. But I'm happy about with the other world too. Let's check on our uh, on our best friend, Mr. Doggy Dog. Oh, 
Arf. Woof. Grr. Bark. Bark. Bork. Bjork. Hello there, Myrtle's mum. Why, hello, Oliver. Have you been to Miss Layla's store? If you haven't, you're in for a surprise. Hee hee. Tee hee. Alright. So, that's not the right button. Let's go back. So, Betty, did you beat this game on normal or easy mode? I'm playing it on normal mode, and that's, uh... It's kicking my butt in some areas. But I can do it. I can beat this game. If I can beat Fire Emblem, Three Houses, and Final Fantasy VIII, even though I cheated, I can beat this game, right? Easy peasy, right guys? I can change the difficulty whenever I want to though, but I'm gonna try not to do that. Cause that's cheating. Don't wanna do that. Alright, we're here. We're here. Okay, there we go. So these are the fountains of milk. You can't remember if you played on normal back in the day? Probably. Yeah. If I ever play this again, I'll try easy mode and just relax. Relax with the story and all that. Is this- is that real milk? For real? Hee <laughs> hee. Of course, the freshest, creamiest milk there is. And there's so much of it, you can just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying? You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on, you've got to conjure up some cheese. Focus. Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure, you heat up- you heat some milk, then you add lemon and salt, and you skim the solid part off the top, and it turns into cheese. Blimey, a regular cheesemonger you are. This should be cheesy peasy then. All you need is the right spell, ain't it? Sure, let me take a look. It's a spell? Can I do it here? I don't think I can actually. Spell. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, you are on normal right now. Been level grinding and catching different familiars. Yeah. Level grinding. Level grinding can be fun, eh? I like, uh, I, I like level grinding a lot. Uh, this should be it. Nothing happened. Great. So, whoops. Here we go. Did it. Did it! Look at that. It's flipping working. It really is. You're so good at magic, Oliver. I bet you could even make sweets if you put your mind to it. And cakes! Oh, I could just eat a... Hey, stop that! I'm trying to concentrate! Uh, you haven't been paying attention? Hang on a minute. Wow! Wow, indeed. And there's a there's two cakes there too. Is the DLC familiar busted or no? Um unknown. Unknown answer for that right now. Look at the flippin' size of that bun! And you went and made some sweets and all. That was Esther's fault. Hee <laughs> hee, I bet you wanted some too though, didn't you? You shouldn't distract somebody when they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see the Caulifa. Our present's a little on the large side, but I don't suppose it will matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. Let's please her with cheese. Yes, we got some cheese. We got some cheese. Do you guys like cheese? Good day to you all. How may I how may be of service? You brought some cheese to give to the Khalifa, Mr. Abu, sir. Ch cheese? Praise be to the ancients. I had thought that there was none remaining in all the land. The Khalifa just can't get enough of it, huh? Um, how, do you, how did you hear of this? It is a secret known only to those within the palace. No matter, you are correct. Her Majesty is indeed a great admirer of cheese in its many forms. She will undoubtedly grant an audience to any who come bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me. Quickly! <gasps> Oh, 
Animation! Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of Shadar, the stinking rotbag. Uh. Mm, what is that divine aroma? Abo! Here, Your Majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, these humble servants come right bearing most delicious tribute. Uh, whoa, oh, heavens! What a dear sweet child! Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Uh, huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man! Bring it to us! Hurry! Good lord. I'm slightly disturbed. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us uh, more! Uh, 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 My name was Khalifa. If you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... I'll say. She might not look broken hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her majesty is lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help Her Majesty. Yeah, pick up your book. Why did you even drop it there? Keep it on you at all times. I thought she was going to eat Oliver too. That was terrifying. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. We can use the locket to try and look for someone, but this is a big old townman. Let's try the shopkeepers first, shall we? It's a neat idea, Mr. Drippy. The people who own the shops know everybody in the town, and they hear all their news, too. They do, don't they? Great, let's ask around all the shops, then. That voice, uh, actress for the Majesty sounded familiar, by the way. Yeah? Oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So they got into the palace, did they? And what did they talk about? Did they now? Oh, keep me posted on what's going on inside. And my payment? Don't worry, you'll get your reward. By the next time we meet, I'll have scored you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? No, no, don't be stupid. It's just a figure of speech. Now concentrate on the job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Also, kill the curry guy that's listening to our every word right now. Oh, curry guy, did you see something? Did you see something? No? Okay. Anyway, let's go talk to a, a shopkeeper. Jump. 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 Be jump. Uh, which one are we seeing? There's someone in here I need to talk to, actually. Yoo-hoo! You? Hello! Who can I help you today? Have you tried mixing babanas with milk and yogurt? It's a huge favorite here in Alma Moon. I'm sorry to change the subject, ma'am, but uh, could I ask you something? Can you think of anybody here in town who has a lot of restraint? Er, gosh. He said that, whoops. Hoo-hoo, that's a strange question, but I'll humor you, dear. Why, all the people of the desert have plenty of restraint. They needed to stay out of the s stay out in the scorching sun. Hmm, I suppose she's got a point there. D don't help us much, though, does it? Let's see if someone else can narrow it down a bit, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. Thank you, ma'am. How dare you not help me with my plight. 
Actually, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Let me check something real quick. Am I... Can, do I have everyone's permission? Can I check something? Bye! No. I thought there was a we a we a we blah, a weapon shop here. Um, fellas, ice cream or actually have self control for once? Hmm. If it makes you feel healthier, Pia Mikaru, how about I have the ice cream tonight? Does that make sense? I will have the ice cream, and you can have, uh, whatever. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, yeah? I'll be having my delicious cookies and cream tonight. Complete with dark chocolate syrup and chocolate sprinkles. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Hey there. How do, Minister? We're in the market for a person with more restraint than a... Oh, than a magpie in a jewelry shop. Anyone spring to mind? Your what? Oh, do you mean you're looking for someone who can swallow their urges and stand firm in the face of temptation? Hmm, if you were looking for someone who couldn't control their desires, I could tell you pretty swiftly. Honestly, some of the requests she sends winging, winging my way from the palace. Ahem, sorry, that was indiscreet of me. They're disappointing. I thought I was... I thought if there was one place we could go for a red-hot info, it would be by here. Never mind. Sorry to bother you, bird face. He has a bird face? Oh, a bird hat. Thanks, mister. Thanks, mister. <gasps> Ooh, a new. A young girl in Castaway Cave create a candle cutter. Right. Right. I have one thing, but how do we get the other thing? This is gonna bother me forever. Maybe, guys, maybe uh, this guy has it. Ka, you rough troubled! Oh my gosh. Well, if it's equipment tough enough to survive with the harsh desert environment you're after, you've come to the right place. Um, actually, we came to ask you something. We need to find somebody with a lot of restraint, but nobody seems to know a person like that. You must be rooking in all the wrong places, unless I'm raving mad. I just, I know just the person. Oh, you do, don't you? Who is it? Please, you have to tell us. A bull, of course. If I had his patience, I'd be crowing about it all over town. A bull? That's right. A little bird told me quite a story about him. It was a few years ago. One day, the Khalifa decided out of the blue that she wouldn't, she wouldn't break content until she had tasted all the cheeses in the world. Cheese? I guess she really is just like Miss Layla, huh? Without a moment's hesitation, Abu set off to Rook for them all. Through forests across the ocean, he went battered by blizzards and often surviving a little more than a wing and a prayer. But finally, he came home to roost. When he and when he did, it was with a cart piled high with every cheese under the sun. Caw, blimey, he must have stank. Now that's what I call restraint. And by goodness, he does he all need it with her majesty crowing on at him all the time. Uh, crikey, that's there's impressive. He did all that, risking his life and everything, just so her moosiveness could have a snack. Tidy, I think we found our man, Ollie boy. Neato, we should go find him right away. Guys, I did it! I found out who has the thing. A uh, flint dagger, I need this. Yes. With these prices, we must be raven mad. Yeah, yeah. You are raven mad. Save. Now let's see if I can do this. Mix and match. Uh, boom. And... Boom. Uh, mix. Ah ha ha! Got it! Thank you, little girl. You are very kind. Oh man, what a, what a, what a. That's all I can say right now is what a. I also just realized we're back in the desert town. We're back in the desert with Prince Ali right here. 
He's got 75 golden candles. Oh, he's got a zoo, I'm telling you. Do, do, boo, boo, do, do, boo, boo. Alright, look at this room. This room is huge. You caved? Aw, oh, yeah, you got it. Did you get it? Did you get the ice cream? Ice cream, 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 cream. Bah. Oh, watch this. Jump down the stairs and he's just fine. Jump up the stairs and he can jump like that full, full uh, distance. Ollie's uh, pretty athletic for a, a young boy. Mr. Abul, sir, we found ourselves somebody with a whole lot of restraint. You did? This is excellent news. You must tell me. Who is it? It's you. Me? But impossible. Not in the slightest. Peter, patience. Look at Ollie Boy's locket. It's glowing up a treat. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Abul? Hmm. Well, of course you may. For her majesty, anything. What must I do? There's nothing to it. Just lie back and think of Alma Moon. Well, get on with it, Ollie Boy. Sure. Here goes. Hmm. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna take the heart. Take the courage. Or not courage. Restraint. Cool. The power to resist the demon of temptation. And I should have given it to Pia Mikaru while I could. But sadly, he already has his ice cream. Already? And this is truly enough to restore her majesty to her former glory? You bet it is. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm, cheesy wheeze. Mountains of delicious cheesy wheeze. And all for us. Nom 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 nom. She's got cheese on the flippin' brain, her. Even dreams about the stuff. Quick, golly boy. Mas magic, magic her better, will you? Yes, sir. Haha, -ha, I'm giving her kindness. Nope. What if I gave her kindness instead? What would happen? Would it be chaos? She'd be kind, but still hungry. Are you better now? Daisy! Good Lord. Goodness, we feel quite marvelous. Whatever can have happened to us? Thank goodness there were jiggle These physics, right? These humble servants made your majesty's ailing heart whole again. Who is we, lady? Uh, what do you think? Her two, uh, jiggle... You know what? Never mind. Forget it. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. The Khalifa. The Khalifa says we, though. Who's the other? Never crossed her mind, but thanks for that. You're welcome, buddy. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Alma Moon can return to its former magnificence. Yay! I saved another kingdom. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. The royal we, indeed. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Ship. Indeed they should. Ship shape. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, your majesty, if it's not too much trouble. I'd like your horns. 
Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Ooh, our little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. <laughs> what the heck? But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. Cool. You will? Gee. I did it. Thank you, your majesty. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. I'm calling all boats floaty woaties now. Just FYI. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh. Go on, man. Okay. You need to find one of the great sages. The Great Sages? Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa, but little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the Great Sages, travelers? Because your world is in danger of dying. We need their help. We need their power. To defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. But. Whoops. Sorry. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. I did not mean to skip that dialogue there. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Ah. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin. A detestable and warlike realm. Uh, cool. But he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. Cool. A ball? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. No way. Guys, is that who I think it is? <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Yes, please. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but... Why can't we just send you to defeat Shishadar, your majesty? You could just magic up a... Uh, you could magic up your foot and just stomp on him. We royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. <gasps> Nature's tongue. Burden. Yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like... Yeah, I have a feeling if we sent Her Majesty, the game would be over <laughs> immediately. 
So, sadly, we can't have that because I want to keep playing this game. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Whoops. Alright. So let's see what this new magic does. Vacate does that, but we already know what that does. Uh... Oh, it's here. No, it's here. Is it here? Did I even get it? Oh, nature's tongue. Enables the caster to speak to animals and plants, and even to enlist their aid. Ooh. Uh, what was the other one? Burden. Weighs down certain subjects, slowing their movement. Ooh. Interesting. I can talk to everything now, that's right. I just got an idea, guys. I just got an idea that I'm gonna do right now. I'm sure you know what this idea is, right? You guys know what I'm gonna do. Just, just, just take a guess. Take a guess. That car almost ran, ran over me. I like it when the cars just randomly, like, almost run you over. But they stop just as they're about to. Anyway, uh, jaywalk? It's fine. I'm just a child. I don't, I don't know, you know, the right of way. I don't know the laws. Hey, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Uh, where is it now? Grr, who are you? What business do you have with my master? Well, guys, I beat the game. That was the goal. Talk to the dog. I beat the game now. It's done. I did it. Slightly off topic. You should, if you jaywalk an astral chain, the game deducts some of your points. Since you're supposed to be an upstanding police officer, huh? That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know if I'll ever get Astral Chain. It doesn't look like my type of game. But, you never know. I did say I'd never get a... I'd never stream... Stream. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I'm doing that. Who knows? Also, everyone in chat, be honest, have you ever jaywalked in real life before? Oh! Uh, this kid has a mission for me. Where could they be? Loitering somewhere along the way, no doubt. Are you waiting for somebody? Hmm. Oh no, I'm not waiting for people. I keep pigeons. It is for them that I am waiting. I send them out to deliver messages across the land, but unfortunately, several have failed to return. If you don't like action games, it's an action game. I like action games, just not that kind of action game. But like I said, you never know, guys. I worry that they may have flown the coop. Gee, I'm sure I hope nothing bad has happened to them. No, no, this has happened before. They are probably drinking from the milk fountains, but I have messages for them to deliver. If you have time, would you be able to find them for me? Find boys pigeons. You got it. Thank you so much. I would gladly search for the latecomers myself, but I cannot give here, leave here in case they return while I, I am gone. And all three of my birds have yet to return. They must have all returned to Alma Moon by now. I am sure you will find them somewhere in the city. Leave it to the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, my lad. Your feather friends will be back before you can say pigeon pie. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. <sighs> I like pigeon pie. It's tasty. Uh, I mean, uh, never mind. Are these pigeons? This one's not leaving. Hey, this bird, is it? Look at that one. This pigeon ain't scared of people at all. Tame as, as anything it is. Hey, look at this little, look at his little face. Do you think he's, 
Trying to tell us something? Yeah, it kinda looks like that way, huh? Well, you know what to do then, don't you, Ollie boy? It's time to use that spell the Khalifa gave you, ain't it? <gasps> it is. You don't know what to call the game other than Devil May Cry. Cool, I'm too scared to go home. I don't want to be eaten. Huh? Eaten? What do you mean? Cooee! You understand me? But you're a human. I am, and your master asked me to come find you. He did? Coo. Did he seem angry? Last time I was late home, he said he would eat me if I ever did it again. I'm sure he didn't mean it, little birdie. He was probably just angry because you bumped off work, ain't it? Yeah, he seemed awfully worried about you. He really wants you to come on home. Coo, you really think so? Alright, thank you for coming to find me. Coo coo! Tidy, one down, two to go. This is a good mission, guys. Double May Cry, huh? That's another game I've never played before. Oh, uh, is this the same pigeon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we gain the ability to talk to animals, and the first thing we do is talk to a goddamn pigeon. Well, not really. Remember we talked to the, uh, dog? In fact, I made sure to talk to the dog first. And then we talked to some pigeon creatures. Some pigeon creatures, guys. So tell me if you see any birds, okay? Any pigeons. Yeah, it was important that we talk to the dog first. Does anyone see any birds at all? Like this one. Hey, this bird! Is it? Look at that mud! This pigeon ain't scared of people at all, tame as anything he is! Hey, look at his little face! You think he's trying to tell us something? Yeah, 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 spell! Coo, I don't want to fly home yet! I want to play here a little longer! But there are messages that need delivering! You have to go back, little bird! Squawk! You scared me silly! How can you understand me? Who are you? Never mind that, just go home. Your master is really worried about you. He is? Coo, but I have to fly so far away to deliver his messages. Sure you do, but people need those messages. They're counting on you. Coo, I suppose they are. They always seem so happy to receive them. All right, I'll go back home. Thank you for coming to find me. Coo coo. Coo 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 coo. That's how I say cool, guys. I just say coo. Cool a lot. So where's the last one? Do you think he's being eaten by the Mujesty? Mujesty! If there's a bird, don't eat it! Hello there, dear. She's pretty big. Let's see a, a size comparison. Little Ollie, Big Moochesty. Uh, can we talk to you down here? Nope, I think we need to go up here. Yep. Yes, indeed. We feel as if awoken or whatever. Alright, the thing is not in here. The pigeon is not here. Which is kind of not good because, uh... There's no other place where pigeons go. It said that they all returned here, right? They all returned home by now. So they have to be in town, yeah? Nope. No, uh, no doing that. Can't cheat that way, hey? There's this guy again, the... The diary person. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Maybe the boy can give us another hint. Like, there's definitely one missing, and there's no other flock of birds in this town. So, where would it be then, huh? Hey, you, there's a bird missing. Thank you, two of my pigeons have returned to me. Now only one is missing. Wanna, want some assistance? Nah, sorry. Not today. Later. Have fun. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is gonna bother me if I don't complete this. What does the message, the mission say? Talk to me. Um, go find one more pigeons. I wish it had more details, though. He did say that they were both in this town, right? Uh, you. Give me more info. Give me more info about your pigeons. I wonder if the pigeon is in the other place, because there's no more pigeon here. Ha! Ha! I will soon compete in the Oasis race! Oasis race. Maybe these birds know. Coo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, I made it back home. Aren't I clever? So sad, I made my master worry. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. That's gonna bother me, guys. Betty, if you know where the last bird is, uh, let me know if you... If you please. There's the last bird right there. It's inside the two bottles of spring water. I should have known. Hopefully I can get back to this place at some point, because I want to do all the missions. I don't want to miss one. Ah, uh, it kills me that I'm leaving and missing a pigeon. But you know what? There's another quest I can do in the other town that I can complete. So I will do that, at least. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're back here in this lovely, lovely area. Ah, green grass. Lovely monsters, I guess. It's beautiful. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Go, my teeth. Evil embrace. I don't like that. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, good. There we go. Do war cry. Okay, good. What? We won! And let's see everyone gain experience. Moth is gonna level up. Yeah. Good job. Nymphloro leveled up. It's like Nymphlora, but Nymphloro. I wonder if my moth friend evolves at all. That'd be cool. I would very much like it if it did. So let's see if there's birds in this town. Oh, kick a cutscene. Ready, oh, first things first. Let's go and let that captain know we're back, shall we? If he lets us straight onto the boat, we won't have to change into our bathing suits, huh? Really? That's a shame. I was starting to rather like mine. I can't wait to go over there, hand over that letter of passage, and show Captain Smugpants who's boss. Let's do it. We have th we have the clue to help us find the next great sage. We're all set. It's funny, though, isn't it? That somebody so young could be a sage. I mean, he's so much younger than my father. And a darn sight more handsome and all. Ha! We need to get to Hamlin right away. Come on, let's go see the captain. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll have that. Thank you very much. Uh oh. Him again. No, the picture. It's gone. What? And the letter of passage, too. He stole both of them. Er, them both. Ah, uh, crikey. He's a pain in the neck, that one. Come on, then. We'd best get after him, ain't it? Oh my gosh, guys. What the heck? I'm so angry, I'm going to take all my aggression and anger out on this quest that I'm about to turn in. There you go! We're back, and we brought you a candle cutter! Oh, wonderful! Simply wonderful! 
Something so magnificent created from such simple materials. I can hardly believe it. Well, you better believe it. Wizards like Gal- or, well, you better believe it. Wizards like Golly Boy can do all sorts of amazing stuff. I do love alchemy so. How I wish to become a wizard like you. Oh, perhaps I should give you something to thank you for showing me the candle cutter. Please take this. Ooh. Money. <gasps> One more. There are all sorts of formulas in my wizard book. I can teach you some, perhaps. Ooh, nice. Thank you, kiddo. You are... You are good. You are the good. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of quests here now. Oh, boy. Hello, hello. You mean to tell me you still haven't found us a location for the shop? Well, for crying out loud, you're useless. Absolutely useless. Hey, what are you talking to me like that for? Hmm, if I have to put up with you day in, day out, I'll talk to you however I want. Whoa, that was kind of mean. Proper vicious, Ollie boy. She doesn't look the type either, does she? What do you do? What are you two looking at? This is between me and my worthless lump of a husband. The dearest, please, I think something's happened to you. You're, you're not yourself. Hey, I'll fire Skyrim. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Hope all's well with you. Oh yeah, of course, Mud. She's brokenhearted, ain't it? Really? Not a single doubt about it. Suffering from a severe lack of kindness, she is. Mark my words. She's going to do that husband of hers a real mischief if we don't help her. Better help her out. Alright, let's fix her broken heart. That's the spirit. Remember, it's kind of she needs, ain't it? You know what to do, don't you? Give, give, give the heart, and give the heart. Hellfire Skyrim was streaming Circle of the Moon today. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And was kicking butt. You kind of got you got you kind of got pulled back into the pit of rage that is Dark Souls. Oh no, you're making a mistake, buddy. Come back. Come back to us. What's going on? My heart it feels really clear somehow. Oh, oh, darling, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't believe the things I said to you. It's fine, absolutely fine. I've got the old you back, and that's all that matters. Thank you, young man. I don't know what we... What would have become of us without you. Please take this. <gasps> Carrot cakes. Yay! I have another merit stamp. And I got a cake. A cupcake, but a cake nonetheless. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing my bathing suit anymore. You missed it, Hellfire Skyrim. I was wearing a, a bathing suit. And uh, Drippy was too. Look, it's him! I didn't mean to go that far. I told you to get this boat moving. The letter of passage does not belong to you. I know, you thief. You stole it. From whom? Who cares? Just shut up and let me on board, will you? I've got the letter. That means I get to write on the ship. I know my rights. Now, are you going to take me to Atamiya or not? Well... Be lay there, friend. There is no need to be so agri... Ag agitated? What is so urgent that it may not wait for a favorable wind? I need to find him. I need to tell him. Him? Who is this him? Listen, I just have to go there and see someone, okay? He's doing it all wrong. So I have to go and show him how to do it right. Come on, take me there. You are known in this town. Why would I let one such as you aboard my precious ship? Grr, listen, I have to get there, all right? If anything happens to him because you won't take me out, you won't forget it in a hurry. Save your empty threats and just tell me instead of whom you s and just and tell me instead of whom you speak. You, why would you have me take you to him? Yeah, none of this your business. Now shut up and get this boat moving. Stop. Give us back our things. Damn it. Not you again. You have returned, lad. Well met. Wait, the letter of passage. Is it yours? Yes, Captain. He stole it from us. Currently wishing that Dark Souls had TNT so you could destroy Sin's fortress by leveling it. Hey, don't worry. I don't know what Sin's fortress is, but I wish I had TNT as well for that game. Ho, ho, ho. Just as I thought, the Khalifa would never grant such a privilege to a common criminal. Be gone! So, does that mean you won't, you're not going to take me? But, but, can't you see? 
Can't you see? It's all for him. I have to get to the Empire. The Emperor. Empire. Arg. What is this? Careful, Lolly Boy. Something's not right here. That black mist. It's another nightmare. A nightmare? Oliver, what does that mean? Be careful, Esther. It's going to attack. What? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Jeepers. Goodness. <laughs> I guess Betty has played uh, Dark Souls as well. Oh boy, this is trouble. Uh oh. Okay, I have to be quick with this battle. I didn't know that it would throw me into a boss battle. Oh well, let's do it. Charge! Don't miss charge. It's filled with snakes that are annoying and should be deleted. <laughs> Sounds fun, huh? Got him. Ooh, she's doing good damage with her uh, her shenanigans. You see those, uh, purple, purple blocks? I get the feeling I should avoid those. Oh, darn it. I ran into it like a, like a, like a dope, like a dope, dope mope. Well, this guy's already, like, halfway dead. But I have a feeling... His true form. Miss! Loser! Uh, go back to the mighty, please. Go! Nice move there. Uh, I got a nice little attack there. Oh no, bad dream again. Defend! Gotcha. Easy. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy for now. Okay, it's actually doing a lot of damage. Um, uh, go back. Oh, now I'm grunge again. Healing touch. And another healy heal thing. I'm slow now, but not slow enough to hit you with a spell. You missed. Dragon's not doing a lot of damage, so... Bad dream. Oh, darn it. Ow, ow. Uh, ow, that hurt, I guess. Come on, get him, get him, get him. You know what? Guess what? Smash it. <laughs> Got him. We did it. Give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. We succeeded in the slayage of the evil dream thing. <gasps> yes. Oh, hang on, where am I? You got taken over by a nightmare mun. Think it might have made you... Think it might have made you have a bit of a funny turn, like... Can we have our pictures back now? Shut up, all of you. Get away from me. If you come one step closer, I'll... I'll tear your precious picture into tiny pieces. Jeepers, what should we do, Mr. Drippy? I still think he's broken-hearted. Heartbroken. What's he missing, I wonder? Ah, oh, I get it. Same as the cow Leafa, ain't it? He's got no restraint, so he can't help himself. He just runs around pinching things willy-nilly. So we need to find more restraint, do we? But where do we look? Abdul already shared his with us. This is where your locket comes in handy, ain't it, Ollie boy? Guess to wake Kobe too big. We'll find some restraint in no time. Let's start by looking, then, shall we? I don't care what you do. Just do it somewhere far away from me. 
Go on, get lost. Okay. I'm not gonna look for anyone right now because it's near the end of the stream. But what's what's this? Uh oh crab. Mr. Drippy, the crab is talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what this guy wants first. Uh, why? What am I going to do? Jeepers, you seem pretty shook up. What's the matter? Well, uh, you can understand what I'm saying. What a stroke of luck. I was hoping someone like you would scuttle along. Would you mind helping me out with something? Uh, what kind of something? It's my friend. He was swept away by a huge wave a few days ago. Please, you have to find him. I'd look for him myself, but I'm too shell-shocked. Well, do you know which direction he went in, at least? Hmm, good question. I think the tide must have carried him to the east, but I couldn't tell you any more than that. Alright, I just thought with that ship of yours, you were the perfect people to go and look for him, you know. I guess so. Alright, Mr. Crab. We'll go find your friend for you. Wag, cracking news. Thank you. Wow. I'm accepting missions from crabs now, guys. Take your screenshots now. So before I forget, there are two things I would like to do before I end this stream. I hope you guys had fun, by the way, today. Sure, there was a stream crash, but I've had fun. This game is still so good. I found your friend, by the way. It's right there. Welcome to the Swift Solutions. Uh, merit badges. Yes. Sometimes you miss that 35%. Yep. So, I can't get any more cards. Or, I can, but I can't trade them in at the moment. That's annoying, huh? Let's, uh, metamorphosize our, our friend here. Yes. It's time. Never mind, there's no blue. The one time. The one time, guys. The pain. You never get past Sense Fortress, you quit after a thousand deaths of it. Aww. It's a rough game, it is. Which is why I'm better off playing these games. Well, I hope you guys had fun today. Betty, I hope you'll consider sticking around and enjoying the streams until, uh, until the Nino Coonies are done and maybe even well after, too. But that'll be it, guys. Thank you all for coming. Tomorrow, more Fire Emblem. We are so close to the end of this game. So freaking close. It's insane. We're so close. I can I can taste the ending. But yeah, well, that'll be tomorrow. Also more Darkwood. So get ready for scaries. Bye-bye!